because we have to look at those vectors A, B, C in picture figure 3.35. Uh, it's just more vector operations. I'm going to start. That's the best way to start Saturday morning. Add and subtract vectors. So B, uh, let me start with A. A is vector uh, B minus 3A. So that's a scaling. That's, it's, it's really easy. Multiplying is easy. Okay, now, if I want to do this one, I have to start again to find the components. This is B. I need to find BX and, as usual, BY. BXAY. Okay. So BX is 26.5 cosine. Uh -huh. Yeah, cosine 56. And then I, I'm, I'm aware that it's in quadrant 2, so the, the negative. X component of vector B must be negative. Very good. Whatever answer is, I need to put a negative there. 14.818. <clears throat> let's put just, uh, I will put one decimal now. Okay. okay. And then, um, the, the vertical component of it. Sine? Yeah, very good. So what is the magnitude? 26.5 times sine. The same angle, 56. This is positive. We are in quadrant 2. It's 21.96, so 22.0. Uh, yeah, why not? <laughs> that's, that's good. Now, now, let's get A. And now, uh, what is AX? 44 cos. Yeah, very good. 44 cosine 28. And that must be positive. 38.8. 38.8 or 0.9? 0.8. Okay. And then AY, that is 44 sine 28. 20.7. 20.7, yeah? yeah? Okay, now I've got all the components. Now I should start. Uh, I want B minus 3A. So Wait, B, we don't times it first. How about yeah. the times? I, I'm going to do it now. Oh, oh. So I'm going to do it now. B, so that's negative 14.8 minus 3 times A. 38.8. Make sense? Mm -hmm. So that's that's the X component. So let's get X. <clears throat> it's a negative number, yeah? Negative 14.8 minus 3 uh, times... Negative. 131.2. Okay, so I just tell myself that's negative, negative x. <clears throat> that means it's here. The x is negative. Now, depending on y, we end up in quadrant 2 or 3. So what about y? y is b, again, start with b, 22 minus 3a, 20.7. This is also negative. <clears throat> negative 40.1. 40.1 out of void. That's also negative. So that means we are in quadrant three. The vector, the this sub difference, the subtraction answer is in quadrant three, that resultant. And what is the angle? So the uh, angle is tangent, tangent inverse of y. Negative y is negative 40.1 over x, negative 131. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, 16.99, so it's 17, almost 17 degree. Now, now you need to kind of visualize it. I'm going to take a snipping shot of the vector. So I want to know the, I know the angle, but what is the direction? You see, uh, this is the, so it's, the B is already there. Now I want to subtract 3A, that means I multiply this by three, so it becomes three times bigger, you see? Now, because it's subtract, I'll go this way. So that's one, two, three. Do you see that? So that becomes B minus 3A. That's 3A. Now, the, the resultant is something like this. This is the resultant. Do you see that? Oh, that's the resultant. That's the resultant. And the angle we got was what? 17, yeah? 